Hello, welcome to another Raggy's uh, beer review. Hmm? Screw just fell out somewhere. So today I'm uh, reviewing, I bought it from mm, a low cost beer, Smiling Grape. Uh, this, so Future Proof, an original mild by Bristol Beer Factory. I have been seeing their beers of late on cask, cask and keg even. Um, so yeah, uh, all very interesting. Um, a classic mild biscuit, biscuit, nuttiness, smoothness, honey and caramel uh, flavours from the malt. Uh, low bitterness, the ultimate session beer. Trend proof, future proof. I like that. Don't know a lot about Bristol Beer Factory. Um, obviously not my neck of the woods. Um, but I've heard the other beer reviewers, you know, uh, and the, some of the big beer fans saying that it's a great place, Bristol is and that. So we'll put you in a Lincoln Green Glass. So there you go. A trad brewery that does a bit of craft. We have a craft brewery doing a bit of trad. Mild. It's one of them um, beers that St. Peter's did a mild. And when I went down a couple of weeks ago, there was none there. And I was gutted. Absolutely gutted. Um, and... Funnily enough, Green King do a mild, and their mild is actually bang on. I mean, they might do some poor beers, especially in, super, in their pubs, but uh, the mild was cracking. Uh, I do feel that Lincoln, uh, sorry, Green King's beers have gone downhill quite a bit. So as you can see, it's uh, it's like an amber, but with a tinge of brownie colour to it. A uh, little bit of a white head going off. ABV 4%, I remember of saying. I'm sure I did. Okay, I've already forgot. My memory is absolutely shocking. So, let's dive in. Cheers all. Cheers, Bristol Beer Factory. Yeah. Nuttiness on the nose. Certainly caramel. Right. Cheers. End of the week. Uh, it's been a long week. A long, wet week. Four days of a lot of rain. Um, nuttiness on the taste. There's a hint of biscuit behind the nuttiness. And it's interesting to see these, uh, what you look at as a craft brewery doing the, um, the trad stuff. Some can do it good. And some, to be fair, have kind of failed. Um... Yeah, some kind of failed. So, I won't name names, obviously. I have to watch the reviews in, in times past. I mean, I drank a Best Bitter, I think it was, was it last night? And uh, it wasn't, uh, from a good brewery, but it wasn't the best, um, to be fair. I think with breweries, there's an interpretation uh, to do it a modern way uh, with, with with styles and I get that I get that you some styles need modernizing but sometimes it's just as bloody good to leave the style as it is and brew that style bring that style back into the into the marketplace as it were and uh, yeah that's a, it's a lovely mild I like a decent um, I mean, 50, I may be. Well, 51 now, 52 soon. Jesus Christ, where's that going? These years are flying by. I'm going to be an old bugger soon. One of these who sits down with his, uh, his newspaper and his cap on. Fucking never. <laughs> and never. Never going down that road. I'm far too young here and there to do that sort of trick. 
but I'm really enjoying this. It's um, I'd love to see this have this on cask. You don't often see a lot of Mylods on cask. And like I say, I, I've had a few beer, Bristol Bear Factory beers recently. One as least recent as last weekend, North Future or something, something like that. Anyway, um, but yeah, Future Proof. I'm sure it was North Future. Just double check because it's it's on my phone, so it's not hard to find. Um, nope, no. Nope. North to the future, so they like their future in their name. Yeah. Hmm. A nice start to beer for the weekend. Um, obviously, we're, we're at the weekend now. I've got gardening, two gardens to do tomorrow. Then we're going down to uh, our favourite place, favourite town in Nottingham called Beeston, or just on the outskirts of Nottingham, to be fair. Uh, down to Beeston to go and sit in a pub and uh, drink whatever they've got. And uh, I'm hoping to go through the menu. And then... Um, seem you know if there's something different it's uh as far as i know it's a pub that has craft and cask on whereas some of them just seem to have blooming cask and sometimes you just want something different we do seem to have a thing um locally where the pubs are a bit um uh, how should we say Trying to be nice here. Um, yeah, stick to certain breweries, and uh, and uh, sometimes it can be a, a bit on the boring side. Uh, and I think one of the pubs that I do go to, they have to stick to the likes of Marston's Pedigree, or they have to have one or two casks that are pretty much always. Uh, from that stable, that that brewery, Marston's, Marston's Carlsberg these days. Um, yeah, quality has gone downhill. But terrible. And the range of beers is crap as well these days. The Hobgoblin name used to mean something, but now it's just a very weakened brand. Anyway, uh, I've enjoyed this. Uh, it gives me a chance to talk. Lower ABV, 4%. Doesn't have to be strong, does it? You know, uh, it's got a good aroma, it's got a good taste. And uh, would I drink it again? Yeah, yeah. It's one of them beers that you, you would always want to try again. For me, um, Ooh. Good 4.3 out of 5. But yeah, decent in any case. And that's all you need to know. Cheers all.